Sandy, we had over 500 real estate agents attend the Distressed Property Symposium and an economic update on the condition of the economy in San Diego and Riverside counties. And, and I got to tell you, it was a home run. We not only had agents from Cobalt Banker, but we also invited agents from other companies to attend so that they could be better educated so that as we do cooperating sales in the marketplace, we can make them more efficient and, and help everybody out in the industry. Uh, the panel was very well received, as you can see here behind me. People are still asking the panelists questions. Leslie Appleton Young did a fabulous presentation on the California economy, the U.S. economy, and in particular, San Diego and Riverside. So all in all today, it was a home run. Well, great. Thanks a lot for uh, hosting this, and uh, looking forward to seeing many more events just like it. Watch for more coming, Andy. All right. Thank Film you. at 11, right? Film at 11. All right, thanks. about their jobs, their confidence is waning. And then the government sector, right? Government is too big in many people's est uh, estimation. It's not efficient and it can't afford to do uh, what it's been doing. Interesting article in the paper over the weekend about Cranston, Rhode Island. I lived in Rhode Island for three or four years. They've gone bankrupt. They can't afford to pay the pensions for their pub uh, public sector retirees who are being asked to accept a lower amount. And typically people that have already retired are kind of untouchable, right? It's the new people that come in um, uh, that do it. And I know for all of you in this room, you're kind of looking at it like, pensions, what's that, right? Because <laughs> we, don't, uh, we don't get that in, in, uh, in the um, uh, private sector. But again, just a lot of uh, stresses in government and both of these things are dragging down the overall economy. Here's just a closer look at the state of the mortgage. 30.2% of the mortgages in California are underwater. Another 4.6% are almost underwater. Uh, nationally, uh, the number is about 1 in 5. Uh, in states like Florida and Nevada, the percentages are higher. And within California, you have a lot of uh, a lot of variation as well. I think in Sacramento, as an example, it's 41 percent. Um, uh, 41 percent of the of the mortgages. Um, the other big issue is um, is unemployment. So the unemployment rate in September nationally was 9.1 percent. It's been above nine for most, but not all, of the last three years. In California, we're about 300 basis points higher 
Uh, we've been above 12% for most of uh, the last uh, three years. In San Diego County, we're at 9.7%. So I do want to make this very clear. San Diego is gaining jobs and it's doing better than the rest of the state. In 2005, um, California had 905,300 people involved uh, employed in construction. In July of this year, it was 567,300. So county by county, the more of your employee, the more of your employment share that was in construction on the All right, let's get into the uh, California market and the local market. Um, this is just a compare and contrast of the last couple of cycles. What we've been through most recently, which is in a three-year period, uh, transactions dropped 44%. And usually it takes five years for the market to go peak to trough. That's what we saw in the late 70s. That's what we saw in the late 80s. Um, and the median home price dropped 58.8% in two years. We have never seen that before. If you look at the late 70s, the statewide median home price didn't go down at all. It plateaued. Now this doesn't mean there weren't regional and local changes but usually by the time you get to a statewide median all of the interesting data is like so as I close out. this is <clears throat> my favorite slide every year we survey buyers and sellers and we ask them over the next year will prices in your neighborhood go up down or be flat or stay the same and if you look at the seller side of that graph, you can see that the majority of them say prices in my neighborhood are going down over the next year. This is the one year um, response. Some said flat, a small percentage said up, but very negative, right? They were sellers, they were underwater, it was painful, they're happy to be through it. Look at the buyers. None of the buyers said down. Most of the buyers said unsure, flat, or up. What's going on? This is my take. The buyers don't care. They got a great house at a great price and a great loan with a great mortgage rate, and they're gonna be in it a long time, and they're gonna raise their family or have a great retirement, and they can't believe they hit the jackpot and were able to buy a home in 2010 and 2011 and 2012. Okay, how many of you enjoyed Leslie's presentation? <laughs> Leslie, thank you for getting up at 4.30 in the morning and coming down to see your San Diego friends. All right, anytime. Um, now we're going to proceed with our next part of the program, which is the discussion with our lenders on short sales. And to be able to facilitate that, in, uh, for those of you who are from other companies and not from Cobol Banker, uh, we have a person in our company who is very valuable to us. She kind of keeps us on a short leash with risk management, risk reduction, kind of keeps us on the short and narrow axis. Chief, judge, and executioner, if any of you get in trouble. But aside from that, she's a very nice lady. And that's, uh, I'm very proud to say, the person on our team that has put together this ability to discuss things with the lenders, which I believe is one of the most valuable things that we've done in a long, long time. And it's my pleasure right now to introduce to you our moderator for this program, and that's Kathy Merringer. Everything was fine until the executioner part. I'm not sure, I'm not sure where that came from. Ladies, don't be afraid. It's okay. Well, welcome everybody. I'm so glad to see so many of you here. And I, I was so pleased to know that uh, Rick and Marty and our team in San Diego opened this up to the entire real estate community because I think that's a huge step forward. Um, we wrote Cobalt Banker, we, we wrote our first short sale program in 2006. So we were a little bit early coming out with this. And I'll tell you my favorite story. I was in Orange County uh, in an area called Newport Beach. And this was in the end of 2006, so the fall. And um, I was finishing up a risk management seminar and I said, you know, I'd like to take a few moments and talk a little bit about short sale risks. Because quite frankly, we're not going to talk about that part of it today because we want the lender's perspective today. But short sales really are fraught with a number of risky issues that can come back and haunt us later. 
So a very nice lady, and I say this because I know in her heart she was, she raised her hand and she said, uh, Kathy, and I said, yes, and she said, you know, I don't know where you come from, <laughs> but you're in Newport Beach now, and we don't do short sales here. <laughs> Then, girl, you know it. And they are doing short sales now. And I think it's because of her, quite frankly. <laughs> Look, when, when you do a lot of public speaking, you learn that when someone starts their comment with, I don't know where you come from, it's going downhill. <laughs> so anyway, that was my first you know, foray into the short sale arena. And we've really worked hard at it. And for those of you that are not with Cobalt Banker and you want to get some additional short sale information, I maintain a blog website and it's real simple. It's kathymeringer.com. I made it real easy. And in within that uh, uh, website, you'll find a lot of generic materials and tools that you are welcome to access and review and use to help you with your short sale transactions. We really do try to share the information with our real estate family. So, um, to the extent that I can not, you know, post non-branded product, I, I do, and I, I write some pretty um, interesting articles because of my friends uh, with uh, on the lending side. I've been very blessed to uh, strike some wonderful relationships, and I've learned a lot from them. We've shared information, so it's kind of cool. All right, so I want to introduce our panel, and I understand that if I do it in order, the slides are going to reflect the name. So let's see. All right, then we'll start from my far right. Deanna Murphy is with Chase. She's vice president um, of the regional relationships in the West. Diana Stocker, who's in the center, is with Wells Fargo. She's the regional servicing director in California. She meets with politicians. Part of her job is reaching out to our political leaders, talking about issues that impact us on a statewide level. And Elena comes to us from Bank of America Home Loans. I love her title, External Engagement. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime you're engaging in something, you know, this is important. Now I want to hear about Elena. So be crystal clear on that doctrine. So it says third party authorization. You know what I know that is? I know it's a third party authorization. Okay? But if you label it as doc one, that does not help us help you. Okay? It causes a delay. All right? um, signatures, approval. The other thing I'll say when it comes to pay stubs as well, the whole drink of choice. Still collect financial. Okay? Depending on the, 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 the program that a homeowner might be able to utilize, if it's a streamlined with us, we may not need financial. Here's the thing agents that are killing it in short sales. When I say killing it, I mean they're, they're closing multiple short sales consistently. Okay? They have a very systematic approach to short sales they have a high number of short sales they're working on. When it comes to financials, one of the things that they do outside of asking the probing questions with their homeowners up front to determine is this a viable client that I'm going to spend my time, money, and sanity with, they say, how often do you Time this off right Everyone. now, but I'd like to say thank you, ladies. It was very informative. Thank you, Kathy. 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 Thank you,